What is going on guys, Edward here, back with another video. Thank you so much for being here again. Uh, today I wanted to show you something really cool about order blocks and how to spot sniper entries using order blocks, okay? Basically supply and demand zones, okay? This is uh, a recent entry that was done on NASDAQ. And I will show you a few things that happen inside here. Like you might say that there's a lot of noise, a lot of consolidation, right? Um, but there's something going on in this area that is actually quite nice and quite interesting to understand and to see actually the markets now on a different way, right? Because we as retail traders, we tend to trade uh, like we like we're we're normally not organized right that's our first mistake at the beginning we don't have like an actual plan to trade we normally trade in any session you know you're trading in asian session you know uh, you're you're not paying attention to those small details besides that there are more things to it that we tend to to fail as traders and like, I'm not saying that you have to do this or this is the only way you can trade. No, there are plenty of ways of trading, plenty of different ways, okay? This is something quite different from, from other type of traders because what we're going to be doing in this order blocks, we're going to be trading like the banks, okay? We're going to be following big the big guys, okay? Big fishes, right? Institutions, banks, all of that. We're going to be trading like them, okay? Uh, it's... It's simple, but sometimes it can be kind of tricky, all right, uh, to spot this type of zones. You need to, you need a lot of practice, a lot, a lot of practice, okay? I'm going to go over this thing quick right here. And if you're, by the way, if you're actually interested in uh, like 100% of this type of things, uh, how I use this order blocks, uh, you know, also break of a structure, change of character, all of that. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually offering a bundle. You can visit my website, teamprofitsfx.com, and you will see that I actually I do have a course. Um, it's a bundle, entire bundle that comes with a course, a mentorship, and a VIP signal group for life. Okay, it's a one-time payment, and I do uh, have this information inside the course. Okay, but I decided for the, you know, for my free followers on YouTube, I decided to share uh, some of this in information. Okay, which is, as I mentioned, it's it's simple, but at the same time, it's kind of tricky to spot this type of areas, okay? We're going to be following big guys, okay? Big fishes, institutions, right? So it means that we need to pay attention to big candles, okay? When you see a big candle, and it, even better if you see that it's followed by different big candles, like two, three candles in a row, you know that that is not us. Retail traders move in the markets, right? Those are pretty much institutions or guys with a lot of money institutions normally or banks they're trading this they're actually impulse in the market right most likely this is us right here this is small candles right here very small candles this is us right here you know like nothing less literally no volume no nothing at all and when you see candles like this huge momentum candles moving you know that something there, that something is going on. A lot of money is being injected into the markets, right? So we're going to be following those those candles, right? So uh, with that being said, I want to make sure and lift something clear right here in this specific uh, box because uh, we're going to be paying to, uh, attention also to supply and demand, okay? Because the, as soon as, for example, as soon as the market drops like that with, with a big, big, uh movement okay aggressive selling or aggressive buying you know that it's not us again those are the institutions or banks so if you see a drop like that normally at the very beginning automatically right here there's an order block how did you draw your order block by the following candle okay the previous candle before the thing is that i, w I think i was on a one hour yeah right here so it's the the previous candle before the drop okay so the previous candle before the push up right you see two big ass candles right here right so the the order block that's created is this candle right here the previous candle before the skyrocket the previous candle before the meltdown right we're going to be paying attention to that 
we're going to highlight the entire zone. That's normally how it is done. Like you would normally highlight the entire candle. Okay. There's different ways of, of doing that, but normally is, um, you know, it covering the, that entire candle. That is basically our zone. We can draw now a box. Okay. We draw a box covering the entire candle and that is literally our supply zone right there. Okay. Let me hide this thing here a little bit so you can see just the zone right here. All right. So we're paying attention just to the zone. I don't care this at this moment. All right. So the price dropped very strong right here and started continue dropping, right? It has created an order block. This is our order block right here. I'm on a one hour time frame. So this is my H1 order block or AKA supply zone, right? Uh, at this at the bottom, it has also created a nice push right the price did push up really nice it did create another order block right here in a one hour aka demand zone okay these zones are created as, as i mentioned after a big push and how do i know what zone is it the previous candle the previous candle before the skyrocket before the push up previous candle before the meltdown don't forget that all right so uh, what does the market do? Like you can see here consolidation. I wanted to show you a little structure right here. I wanted to do a little draw in this area right now. Just just to give you this this uh, quick example right here. Let's suppose let's suppose we have a the market is consolidated, right? Market is coming like this. You got to push and then it starts doing this. Starts consolidating. Right. You see, it's been ranging for a long time. You know, maybe depending on the on the type of consolidation or or the size of this thing, it's uh, maybe in a one hour time frame, fifteen minute time frame, five minute time frame. You know, it depends. So, let's say you you're watching, you you spotted something like that, right? Price is pushing up and down, up and down. Is ranging, right? Right here, there are thousands of traders that love trading inside this type of consolidation. Let's say you spotted this on a one hour. Guys, there are, I'm not going to tell you, but there are thousands of traders, most likely trading from here to here, right? Thousands. And I want to say thousands is thousands of traders, retail traders buying all over this place, right? The same here at the top. There are other thousands of, of traders actually looking for sales in this area and aiming previous target in the past right so again there are thousands most likely thousands right again and again and again and most likely here people will be interested to to sell again so you have a consolidation like that right sometimes the market will do this type of consolidation it's 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 pretty much um grabbing and creating liquidity there is a lot of liquidity right here how what do they do what does the market do um sometimes you're going to see big big fake outs and traps right that the market it, that is incredible you might say but hey there are there exist traps like this and the market will create will gain liquidity will make a lot of money this is how the institutions how how the markets make money by this way and it's very simple no let's say it's consolidating consolidating right the price is consolidating consolidating like this it's very simple for the market to at some point you know break this thing up go to this you know very high like create a, a huge push right what is it doing it's is grabbing all the liquidity from all these sales all these guys that were holding uh, the sales right here at this point or maybe at this point or people who were holding the sales and um, to they were saying no you know what i think the market will crash eventually at some point the market will crash so i'm gonna hold this type of sales right so they're holding and holding and holding they're, they that's why they keep consolidating because they are waiting for more sellers and buyers at the same time to get in control here to 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 start actually getting into entries that's why sometimes some consolidations can take can take sometimes even days, months, or years. And this is this is a lot of opportunities right here. So, anyways, what I'm trying to show is the market will most likely have a huge push up, right? 
cleaning all these stop losses. All these stop losses around this area, boom, they already swoop all this thing, right? If they grab all this liquidity, right? Huge grab of liquidity. Now, not just that, now uh, people most likely were actually entering on this buy right here. They were saying, oh shit, the market just broke above, so I'm gonna go in, right? So you make your buy there aggressive, and you're holding your one to three or one to two or you're aiming to another song right there and you're holding right but guess what now the market will do this it will come back inside right stopping again another probably another thousands of traders retail traders more traders are going to be stopped out most likely it's going to go this way now cleaning all this stop losses right here so they already swoop all this they grab all this liquidity plus this liquidity right here and now they're swapping all this liquidity as well. And guess what? Most likely, another sellers, retail traders, <laughs> more sellers are getting, trying to get in control here, right? And they're like, okay, okay, now the market will go down. Yes, let's go. And no, the price will go up again, sweep all these thousands of top losses right here, and then eventually we'll start dropping, right? You're going to see this trap all the time. This is a huge. When, you, when the price spike like that, it's grabbing, guys. You have to, you have to notice that the markets are grabbing uh, liquidity. They are making a lot of money with these spikes up and downs. They're just trying to swipe, to sweep stop losses, you know, in the past that, you know, the places are for the sales, you know, cleaning sales and then going back down pretending is going down cleaning all these buys right here stopping everyone out right here but then you see how many fake outs is doing and at the end of the day the market is actually going down what i'm showing you right here it actually happened here and this is very very nasty like you this is why you know i am starting to like uh how to trade you know uh on like the like the banks because uh, trading like a normal retail trader, most likely you're going to fall on those type of things, on those type of tries. What happened here? You see the market was consolidating, right? But uh, again, what do we have? We have our zone, right? We have our supply zone. This is where the this drop is started, right? We have our, our supply zone, order block right there. The market uh, stopped and then started pushing up right here. And then all of a sudden it started consolidating, consolidating. Again, what is it doing here? Grabbing liquidity right markets consolidates like that you know that again I'm gonna draw the same thing here for you guys don't forget a uh, short there are a lot of sellers going into this thing most likely maybe like this yeah, going to small steps looking for a small sales right there there are entries there there are entries there entries there right and not just sales also buys there are a lot of buys right here a lot of buys and let me clone that paste it in here and paste it in here right most likely there are thousands of people there getting into sales and buys and sales and buys at the same time so it's ranging right there there is no banks institutions right there at the moment they are just waiting for us and for for the markets to be filled like literally with hundreds of thousands of dollars in this at this point right there so what does the market do what do you see the market did here? You see the price ended up skyrocketing, right? Cleaning all these stop losses. They grab liquidity there immediately. And guess what? The institutions, the banks, they already set because at this order blocks, they normally trade with limit orders. They don't, they don't normally um, make manual entries. They normally put... Um, sell orders so basically a sell limit order or a buy limit order right so most likely you know aiming this target or if you want to you know institutions they won't most likely you they won't be aiming just a short target they will be most likely aim, aiming a next psychological level all right that's how they move okay big big move right there all right what was the re the risk to reward one to ten on that one on that one so while you were making entries right here at this point you were like that oh buying and selling buying and selling 
the banks already had set their limit order right here and just patiently waiting for you, the retail traders, to be like this. Right? They're just getting into and just playing around, playing around. And now, once the market barely touches this entry, this this area right here, the order block, immediately the, wall, the price will reject that. Uh, I'm not saying that will happen all the time, right? But more often than not, yes, it does happen. So price rejected that. Immediately what? What did it do? The price came back down, right? Cleaning. Uh, remember the buys that I told you? Remember the buys that I told you here? <clears throat> the most likely uh, because you saw that aggressive break of that structure people were also buying right there and they most likely had the start losses below and then aiming i don't know maybe this level right there so they were also getting into buy so guess what happened and eh, no stopped out after being stopped out right here the price even went lower stopping all these people out were who were very excited on the on this price on this thing because the price actually broke above and they were very excited oh the f it finally broke above and i'm still holding this thing oh baby let's go all right now let's go ahead and clean that out all right the price maybe stop you out on break even or stop you out completely you know sweeping all these stop losses right here grabbing more liquidity here most likely then again what is happening here guess what more people more retail traders are getting excited here and they are like hey let's go ahead and sail because now it's oh i see the trap i see the trap the price uh, you know did a fake out to the upside but now it's going back down so holy shit this is my opportunity i'm gonna get in there so you get into the sale again thousands of traders get into the sale and guess what the market does it does another swipe out you know uh, stopping all this sales and then it's going to slowly down and then finally and finally boom breaking very aggressively but after how much liquidity they didn't get in this entire area just in this box they grabbed thousands of dollars if not millions right even right here on the breakout to the upside people were buying here at the breakout to the downside people were selling but that got stopped out again so you see all this crazy trap that happened right there right so this type of things will happen guys all right it will happen some, from time to time you may not be able to see it even if you're trying to trade right now this institution an institutional way of trading uh, but this order blocks it's it as i mentioned it will help you detect um, at least when you have when it's forming an order block a potential order block because not all the time you see seeing right here what happened right you had the order block created at the top the price did react it once it came back for retest and then you know continue dropping good but what happened with this order block you see it did the market didn't give a damn about this order block it didn't even stop right here for a second it just went down immediately but, so what happened does it mean that this doesn't work no it means nothing it pretty much means that um it will sometimes the depending on the situation on where you're standing or what's happening of course with the market what type of things are, or maybe some type of news that are coming out like uh, you know that uh, this week was a pretty hectic week because there was the core cpi news released today so the market was kind of like uh, like this it was very very indecisive or doing this liquidity grab before actually uh, crashed right so uh, does this mean that this area is wrong no it's not wrong it's definitely not wrong it's just that it just won't stop right there or just because you spotted a supply or demand zone it means the market will stop there no not necessarily you could spot the best and the most beautiful um zone but it won't it won't it won't it won't always uh, work like that so uh what was the best entry i entered late on this one i entered late right because look at where where my entry was right this was my actual entry i placed the stop even here so it was a wrong entry but anyways i know i get it but it's, it's because i entered late right so it was my risk what happened the price drop it reached my middle point i put the stop on break even the price stopped me out on break even and then continue reaching the target what would have happened if i would have done the sell limit order right there and my stop right here 
and my TP at least to this block, okay? Because this is what I would normally do. I, I would aim to the next block. Sometimes the market will stop right here and bounce. You can use these zones as targets. So you can, you know, this is your TP. Then right here, because you know it's reaching a demand zone, a potential order block, you can also, uh, actually start looking for bias right here, right? And back to this order block again. So you can, you can perhaps set your buy order limit right there right and your tp maybe right there okay yes you can do that what if you get stopped out Pfft, you don't care you see the size of this the the this type of risk to reward to this thing is huge the trading order blocks is the 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 risk to reward ratio is normally huge sometimes one to eight one to twelve one to twenty the risk to reward you know so it's huge you can just man like you literally can trade just two days a week that's all you need literally you could be risking just one percent of your account in here and you're making five percent back right five percent against one percent right here you were risking four uh, i'm sorry you were risking one percent of this and and your tp was uh a one to four risk to reward so whatever you were risking here one percent this was a four percent um reward so it does worsen. it. And uh, now, um, when it comes to, remember, the type of entry, this is normally, as I mentioned, a sell limit order or a buy limit orders. These are handled like that. So what you can do is just set and forget. If you know the price is like this, it's dropping, it has created your order block, potential order block. As a matter of fact, you can, you can combine, you can combine this with your, support and resistance if you use it in combination it's even better it works it works even better because now you're following your price action plus now you're trading you're trying to aim those supply and demand zones right so this was the best entry definitely that was the actual correct entry where's because you know that's where the institution where's the bank is actually entering so maybe this was your your first target right then you could be aiming to previous lows. This was maybe my second target. My third target would have been maybe this psychological level. And my last or fourth target is somewhere around this area. Right? That's that's what you can do. And then this is what it's about. This order blocks thing, it can give you a huge risk to reward ratio. Let's try to look and uh, for, for other type of setups. And as you can see here, I'm on NASDAQ. You can spot this type of things on any time frame. Let's go just right quick on five minute time frame and let's see what we can find. Just right quick to give you another example. And do, 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 right here, let me take a look. Let's see if we got something here. It's very important that you need to you need to put into practice is the area where this thing is reaching. Like for example, look at this here. The market is 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 going down. You see that it's clearly going down. Um, sometimes you might want to enter or you might not want to enter depending on what you're seeing and how attractive it is. But as I mentioned, we follow big movement. Okay, if there is no big movement. We do not enter like small candles like that. No, we normally we have to see big candles. Maybe this this two big candles. It wasn't the the best order block right here, but mm, I would I would recommend you to wait to be more patient for a a much bigger candles or, or or a massive drop like that. We have to be seeing a big push or big drop. Um, maybe 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 here down five minute let's see this previous candle it didn't give me the signal this previous candle it didn't reach right here the target to enter sometimes it's not going to be reaching that zone and you have to just let it go maybe here this rub was very weird right there I would not play around with that let's try to look maybe for a buy uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Sometimes, let me see. Keep looking. Oh, ah, uh, look at this. This is looking nice. 
and as a matter of fact oh look at this right here there is a nice resistance also support what is it doing on this support the market pushed up very nice right we're following big candles okay big momentum candles so where is right here where is my order block if i'm if if you know i'm on top of a support the price is climbing on top of a support so i technically i should be looking for buys technically right so if the market all of a sudden you see you see a big momentum to the upside i'm going to follow the next the previous candle i'm going to highlight the the next previous candle the entire candle with the even with the week depending on the size right so what do we have we have our order block right here that's our order block the price pushed up very very strong what you can do is your set your buy limit order your stop loss is below that zone a few pips below tp you know for that you can just either go in the past and see where the next zones are maybe not too far away maybe you wanted to aim this one as the last target but this is so far away like look at the risk to reward on this type of things this was 1 to 25 <laughs> like what the heck 1 to 25 you have plenty zones right here for you to even secure profits and put this thing on break even come on like as soon as this thing just touched it, it barely touched it boom that's when the institutions got in control right there immediately skyrocketing right even right here if you wanted to put this thing on break even why not i mean look at the look at that this steel this thing you know the probabilities of this thing actually coming back to this thing after skyrocketing like that are very very little so you could be you know the price the price then pull back and then it started skyrocketing again if you skyrocket like that well you try to tra trail your stop loss now move your stop loss there and just keep following the price pull back now it broke created a new high okay now you can put now your stop loss here you keep trailing and holding this thing all the way to the top the price drop pull back it was consolidating a little bit you could have drawn maybe this little area and then after it broke that okay now you can you can go here at this point and you keep trailing it now after trailing that trade the price keeps creating a uh, higher lows as soon as it creates a higher low and the skies rocket like that boom that's your trail the price pulls back creates a higher low and breaks continue pushing up that's how you trail it you have another pull back right here and continue pushing up you put it again here and so on all the way until pretty much you get stopped out here right and that's it huge risk to reward ratio right practicing let's try to look for another one last example because i want to show you something on the candle it's very important on the candles um like right here look at this the market is and um, there is a little something here it's a little support right a little support right here the prices all, all of a sudden it starts pushing up right you see one two three four five six seven candles consecutive like one after another they're not too big but they are consecutive right that's a lot of money in, being injected into the market it's not maybe not the best one but it is consecutive so it's a good sign right this candle where would you put this thing where would you put it you know if it's the previous zone where would you put it here sometimes if you don't trust if you don't want to use the entire candle it's up to you sometimes you want to you might want to use the body just the body of the candle depending on how big the week is if you would have put it on the body most likely you miss this entry right if you would have put it on the week on the covering the entire entire zone right the entire zone right there this is your order block right there okay so your entry would have been right here the stop would have been here dp to a next level right remember always try to move your stops to break even okay always try to aim previous targets what was it so far right there is one to one to five already let's say you were aiming previous targets previous highs right maybe there or you wanted to aim it all the way to the top right there it's up to you what matters is that as you know as long as you keep 
you know, taking partial profits, moving your stop to break even as soon as you can. Like as soon as this thing is far away from your your from your entry point, move that thing on break even and let it run. If you get stopped out later, cool man, but make sure to take profits. Because as I mentioned, normally the risk to reward is huge. You have plenty of chances. You can hit TP1, TP2, TP3, TP4, 5, you know, as many TP as you want right there. Right here, the market went down after that. So, uh, as I mentioned, pay attention to the candles. Pay attention to the candles that you're going to be drawing that entire zone, okay? Because sometimes you might want to just skip uh, the actual week. But if you do that at some point, it may not activate your entry. So you may just uh, just miss the entry, okay? Depending on the on, on the time frame. Let's say maybe here. This little push, it wasn't the best, but it did create a little order block right there, right? Even right here, there's an order, a small order block on this candle. Small order block right there. Price did push, pull back, barely touch it, and then continue pushing up. So you had... You know, you can find this type of things on any time frame. And if the better, if you do it, if you spot these things on one minute, five minute time frame, you know that risk to reward, it's going to be huge. You're most likely going to be re uh, risking, if you're doing this in pairs, for example, you are going to be risking like maybe five pips or three pips against 24 or 64 pips or 50 pips and so on. You know, look at this. The price barely touched it. If you would have entered per, perhaps in this one, right, the previous candle after this push, then your entry would have been uh, automatically right there, your stop loss below, and TP. So you look in the past and you try to aim previous highs, previous zone. Okay, and that's that's basically it. This is order blocks. Okay. Guys, if you have doubts, if you have questions, leave me your comments below. I want to hear from you. If you also in, are interested on what I'm teaching now as part of the bundle, that it's including, you know, my course and uh, mentorship and uh, VIP signal group for life, just let me know. You can go on my website, teamprofitsfx.com. Again, I'm sorry, teamprofitsfx.com, and you will find the information there. Or you can write to me directly either here on the comments or you can go on my free group uh, on my Telegram, which the links are actually in the description below. You will find all that information. Okay. Again, if you're interested, uh, let me know, guys, if you want to see more videos like this. If you if this is a subject that you are actually interested in, you kind of like it. See if I can post, continue posting uh, more videos like this based on order blocks. This is killer sniper entries the stop loss is is just like nothing in comparison to the rewards you can get with this one right and just think about it if you had hey just let's say a 1 to 10 risk to reward and you hit it you can just do the math how many loses you you can just say yo man like uh, you can lose 10 trades in a row or 8 or let's say nine trades in a row and you're still in profit, you know? So the opportunities with this are huge. So again, leave your comments below. Give me a, a big thumbs up if you find this content that is, is valuable to you. It really helps me and motivates me to keep posting more content like this very often. Guys, let me know. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.